A melody in a time of deep uncertainty. A family hard at work, turning their living room into a makeshift workshop, producing locally made armor for the Ukrainian military. It says this is heavy. This is a flak jacket. These flak jackets are the work of this grandmother and former seamstress. Russia's invasion of Ukraine pulled 68-year-old Irina Prochenka out of retirement to work as a volunteer sewing flak jackets for Ukrainian soldiers. Irina says she sews these flak jackets with love, and it's with that love that she hopes it'll help protect defenders, help save their lives. In the kitchen, Irina's son, a lawyer, crafts the blue and yellow armbands that security forces wear on their arms to identify themselves. How many do you make in one day? 200. 200? Yeah. This family workshop, part of a larger improvised production chain that sprouted up in the central Ukrainian city of Vinitsia. It's the brainchild of Vitaly Golovinka. He takes orders from soldiers and members of the territorial defense requesting armor before they head to the front lines. Before the war, Vitaly was a lawyer and an amateur reenactor of scenes from the First World War when Ukrainian nationalists fought against Russian Bolsheviks. Several days into this modern war, Vitaly says he asked his mother-in-law Irina to help sew armor when his son's godfather couldn't find a flak jacket before heading off to combat. This operation relies on donations and improvisation. This is some padding for the flak jackets to go around the armored plates, and they're made from the material that you use for floor mats for cars. The armor plates come from scrap metal scavenged from old cars, welded and reworked by volunteer mechanics, and field tested. So Alek has taken out uh, plates to a firing range, because he's this, and this is uh, six millimeters in width, and they tried different kinds of firearms and rounds, and it was able to block um, some rifles, but a sniper's rifle punched right through, uh, as did a machine gun. They're not using this width for their flak jackets. The team settled on a width of eight millimeters. Vitaly says this newest model will go to a new fighter within the hour. My normal work is to defend people in a court of law, but now we have to defend people's lives from the enemy, from the killers who for some reason want to kill me, my little daughter, my grandmother, and so on. This is just one example of the collective war effort that has sprung up here. Ordinary Ukrainians doing their part to protect their homeland.